Yo bros, welcome to one more episode of Struggle to Glory Road to Elite and last episode we absolutely smashed Division 10 There was a loss in there but there were so many goals There was a 7-1, there was a 5-0, it was just cool I like this FIFA, We it's easy to attack, it's easy to score Very spectacular So today this is my team, we're going to try some different players Abubakar, 5 skills, he just scored an amazing goal yesterday against Monaco There's Brahimi, he should be good as well, not the fastest, but he has the skills We're resting players, I'm always rotating, so there will be a few There will be a few very good faces on the bench, but we will always rotate them I want to try this guy Bresson, he doesn't look great, but then you go into here He was suggested by one of my subs by the way Look at his shot stats, 87 shot power, 86 long shots, 83 free kick, 84 curve It's just very very promising, I will try him out today Anyway, let's go to game 1, less talking, more action, let's do it First game, first amazing team, look at those three loan cards, De Gea, Lacassette, there's a lot of quality in there, but is it enough to stop our Ligue 1 squad? Of course not, it's cheap, but it's so overpowered, especially that guy, Jelson Martins, and he keeps running on the field, filled with Argentinian flags, I'm a Ronaldo guy, so you know I have to do this, I have to score against him to show him Who's best? I'm also wearing the Portuguese kit and look at this, look at what De Gea does. I remind you, this is a loan card, so my guess is that this guy won't be buying De Gea. He won't be wasting any coins because he's very expensive and he's doing a really bad performance. I mean, this one was even worse, even Hernani, our replacement for Gelson. And here Bresson, the guy I wanted to review, he has an amazing shot as you can see there, but apart from that he's invisible, I really didn't like him, he wasn't good at all, and here he got lucky, and finally De Gea saved something, so good for him. But this was too little too late because the game was finished and we scored 4 goals against his very expensive De Gea. Good thing he's alone, I hope he discards him. That was just embarrassing, let's go to game 2! We start with a bang. And into the second game we go and this is a great League 1 team. I'm happy not everyone is using the Premier League, I'm getting tired of Premier League already. But look at this, Subasic being worse than De Gea and proving my point that goalkeepers are way too bad in this game, there's too many goals. I mean it's great that we are able to attack so much and there's so many chances and the manual defending just makes it harder to defend. But keepers have to stop something, but this one was unstoppable, in form Danilo is really good at taking the ball, he's a game destroyer but sometimes he can also you know, release a super bomb, really powerful shot. And yeah, sometimes he scores some nice goals. But here, Lucas, he did this amazing run. I was really impressed with him. I know he's 90 plus pace, he has 5 star skills, maybe he has 4 this year, not sure. So he's like Jelson, who has the ball right here. He gets fouled just when he was about to get the loan and probably scored a 3 1. The referee is not happy with that, everyone is arguing in this team. Look at Perrin with the white hair, it's so weird. Anyway, as you can see, I accidentally skipped it, but as you can see on the left corner, top, Dani Alves got a red card and I had plus one for the rest of the match, which made things much easier. So, as soon as the second half started, we did some tiki taka and Pizzi, the pizza man from Benfica, killing the game. 3-1 with one man plus and we got to disconnect and if you look at me at the right corner I look at my phone and yeah someone was calling me and this was a really important call my house offer was refused so I have to keep looking anyway I spot with my little eye an Ibrahimovic I love Ibrahimovic not so much in FIFA although he scored right away against me but in real life, he's one of my favorite ever players for his personality, for his style of play, even for his hair. 
is amazing, but was even more amazing in FIFA terms is Jelson, although he was much cheaper than Ibra, that's for sure. Anyway, back to the call I was getting on the last game. Yeah, I'm trying to move out with my girlfriend to a new house and we, we are looking it, so remember the struggle to glory points. Yeah, that's one more struggle, we still have to find a house. But Brahimi, and I remind you, this guy is no usual Brahimi, he's the inform Brahimi. Which reminds me which reminds me I can make you a little player review on him after Jelson does this humiliating Ederson from Man City and 3-1 there's no yeah there's no comeback from that Ederson look at the crowd they're going wild they're going crazy are we going to win three matches in a row probably anyway yeah Mendy who just got injured for a very long time in real life scoring against me but about Brahimi who just has the ball I don't find him that special I actually prefer to play Acuna so so yeah I'm starting Acuna and Brahimi is my backup. Here Dumbia sadly was offside, it would have been beautiful, but that's all the fat lady sung. I, I guess that's the expression. And three victories in a row in Division 9, four points to go. And for the next game, look at that, five at the back, but then we have Alexis, Morata, Sterling, Deli Ali. This is just a very, very solid team. Let's see how we do against it. As soon as this game started, I wondered, look at the stadium, we're playing in the Emirates, he has the badge of Arsenal, the kit of Arsenal, I wonder who does he support in the Premier League. Anyway, Dumbia, after some beautiful play, he scores a beautiful goal and he does an ugly celebration, which, uh, you know, I think the keeper should have done better, but having said that, this game was a keeper's game. Both keepers were amazing, check on his goal. And Patricio C. I did see not because of Ronaldo, but in Sporting, when Patricio does a save because he's a club legend, the whole stadium goes like Su. Oh yeah. Anyway, this game was full of great defenses. I couldn't just break him down. I could have scored more. He could have scored more. And this is a very messy. Very messy play, but sadly for us, it ends up with a goal and the crowd goes crazy. I love to see that no that new crowd animation. Look at them. And, and yeah, but this was a keeper's game. And after this, I kept trying and trying and Pizzi with an amazing shot. Check couldn't get there, but it wasn't meant to be. He had yet another chance, but Check was everywhere. And this is the first non-win of the game. 1-1, one, one, but we only need 3 points for the title and to go up to Division 8, can we do it in the last game? With the eyes on the title, we go on to Game 5 with another Premier League team, very strong team, but London goal, is he as good as last year? Sure. Not, I mean, I didn't mean that for Butland, I meant for Patricio, what a save, he's been great in goal, I've, I tried Casillas by the way, and uh, it was a disaster. So, yeah, if you're going Liga Nos, just keep it simple, keep it Patricio, let the Seas go. This game was great, and I want to focus on this guy, Marcus Acuna. So, you, you heard me talk about Brahimi earlier, how I got his inform, and he doesn't really perform great. I have to say, maybe he's not so great because I'm comparing him to this guy, just pay attention for whenever his name comes up in the game because he is very, very important to the team. But we go 1-0 up, and of course it's... Oh, it's not Jelson Martins, it's Hernani. I guess Jelson was resting for this game. Hernani is my backup. And Patricio, I don't know if he got in the ball, but he doesn't let anything in. And here... I don't think this was a penalty, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. The guy had already shot. But can Patricio save it? No, he flies to the right. He should have just stayed in the center. But that's, that, that was a very, very confident dive. Anyway, look who's here. Jelson Martins trying to break up the game. And it's just amazing. Look at him. It's like I'm using Neymar. 
I love Jelson. I really recommend you to get him. I don't know if he's getting more expensive now. I haven't been checking his price. And look at that. The, out of everyone, it was his center back. We just put it right on the corner. Patricio couldn't get it. But yeah, guys, get Jelson Martins. Look here what he can do. If you know how to dribble a little bit, and it's so hard defending this year, he will do some damage. And Pizzi, I love this guy as well. I, I would say he was... He's the third best get, uh, player on my team after Jelson, number one, and Acuna, number two. Pizzi is a must-have. I hope he gets an inform because he will be devastating. And we turn the game around, 3-2. I love this celebration. It's like he's so happy, he goes running, and then he falls to his knees. He was injured after this. I don't know if it's something in the game that happened that I didn't really notice, but uh, maybe... Yeah, maybe that celebration has a chance to injure your players, so stay away from it, although it's really cool. And Acuna, look at that goal, Acuna Matata, no worries in the world, I like this guy. And Psy, Patricio, so 2-4, not a lot of time to go, look at this explosive power of Acuna. I didn't score because I was very unlucky and there was Butland who's in the area. You can see him there and we make another penalty. And out of all people it was our hero Pizzi who committed the fall that g gave the game back. So there was a chance he could still you know, come back but uh, yeah I just wasted time. Had the ball with Patricio and we win for 3 we won Division 9. This was a great game. It could have gone either way, but it was very enjoyable to play. Yeah, Division 9 is ours. We get our 3000 coins and we get closer to Division 1. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. I'm loving FIFA 18. If you like the video, please like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any new content from now on. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.